All right, people, what is up? And welcome back to another episode. I just did my fishing rods and my waders in the truck. I'm picking up my friend Dave right now, and we're heading down to Galveston, and we're gonna try to get on some speckled trout. So it's about 55 degrees, wind's blowing like 10 miles an hour. Stay tuned, see what happens. So we just got over to our first spot. I'm sagging, my weight belt's falling down. <laughs> but uh, we got David here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna go try this first spot. We're next to the fort, and we're gonna see if we can get any trout, redfish, whatever. It's a nice day. It's a little colder than we thought it was gonna be. It feels colder, but especially windier. Way windier, yeah. But I think we'll be able to get on him. So let's see what happens. Well, it's way muddier than we thought it was gonna be, but we're on the uh, the wind protected side. The wind's coming out of the north, so we're fishing this little south facing cut. A little bite right here. I switched to the chartreuse because the water's muddy. I wanted to get a little bit of smell. The water's real money. It's like chocolate milk. And I wanted that smell and that color. And I had a bite I like my third cast. Been seeing a few mullet jump out here. So there's definitely some bait. Got him. Dude, that's something big. Holy. Oh, hell. Get line why I can't. He's swimming towards us. Oh, other way now. I saw him. Did you see it come up right after I hooked it? No? Well, guys, we're throwing, I think this is 12 or 15 pound mono. Usually I would have 30 pound braid with my 20 pound leader, but uh, I ran out of braid. He's coming in. It'd be awesome if he was a big old... Here, get closer so I can swing around you so he doesn't get caught on you. Coming straight towards us. What is it? We're about to be able to see... Ooh, he keeps getting tangled around the line. See my leader. I hear that reel? <laughs> It's a monster! Yeah, I got a little tap in that same spot, like a real little tap. So I, I threw back, I missed the spot, and then I threw back in this, near the same spot again and got hit literally right when it touched the water. Loosen the drag because he's getting closer. Guys, pro tip, loosen your drag when they get closer. Because there's more tension going down on that rod. And I can't lift him up. Thought we were making some room, but he's on a death run now. <laughs> Did that first one was awesome. Let's try to get some leverage on him, dude. Get his head up or something. Reel down and lift his cheese. And this track's still pretty tight. I just don't have as much confidence in a, in this 15 as I would. I mean, 15 is still a lot. You can catch a big fish on 15. But I have way more confidence in my uh, braid. It's coming in a second time. And I felt the line wrapped around him. Earlier, I've kept feeling the line uh, like pull off of him whenever he would swim, so it's tangled in him. So. He's getting close. I'm thumbing the reel, trying to lift him up. Just get his head turned. I don't know if I want this thing close to me. Where are you going, David? Get over here. Don't leave me. See what he is. Man. We're making our approach, our final approach. <laughs> Pulling him off the bottom. What are you? Oh, it's a big boil. <laughs> oh, it's a big old redfish. 
It's a big old redfish. Awesome. All right, guys. So we've been out here for maybe 10 minutes. Been working our way this way. I cast in the same spot. Got a tap. Cast it back in again and hooked up. I've been fighting this fish for eight minutes and 30 seconds. And we've seen it for the first time. Worried it with a stingray, but it's not. It's a big old redfish. And he's been getting close, man. It's just big for this little rod. And when he wants to pull drag, he's going to pull drag. I might just have to tighten down and pull him in. I don't want to make him too tired at the end. It's hard for the wind noise, by the way. It's real windy out here. There he is coming. Dude, that's a big redfish. No way. <laughs> I'm a horse him in here. Oh my god. <laughs> now I'm throwing a little bitty, uh, a little freaking, yeah, a little chartreuse gulp. almost had him in I'm trying to get once i get that head up that's a big redfish dude i should have got my my big fish grips <laughs> no way dude hooked right in the corner of the mouth come here buddy he ain't gonna fit in the net <laughs> it's stupid even try to net him. oh what is up with that what is up with that, guys? <laughs> Dude, let me put the fish grips in this thing's lip if they'll even fit. I brought the baby ones. I knew I should have grabbed the big ones. Good release out here. All right, guys. David just hooked up. He doesn't even say anything. He's a silent assassin. That's what I call him because every time he hooks a fish, bro, you never hear one word out of him. But here he is. He just hooked up. Yeah, it ran pretty far. Oh my gosh, you might have to. Pulling oh, just like mine. What do you think, David? I'm going to get this, whatever this is in. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. This fish is 70 yards out. At least that's where your line goes in the marsh. It's probably farther. Oh. oh, well. Comments? I just questions? Concerns? Well, no questions. <laughs> were you thumbing the reel or did it just break? No, it just broke. I'm going to feel real bad if it's the leader that broke because I tied it on. Dude, I really hope it's not. You think you still have your lure? Let's see, guys. Let's see the moment of truth. Oh, yeah. He still got the... Well, it was a fun fight, huh? Yeah. Let's get another one, dude. He caught that real shallow up on the shell, yeah? And it went way out there. That was awesome. Let's get another one. All right. Well, we're on our way home. Day's over. We just got off the ferry. And uh, obviously, as y'all saw, we didn't get into any trout, sadly. But the redfish makes up for it. Too bad David couldn't land his. Because nope. that would have been neat to have a double redfish. But all in all, I think it was a good day. And thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check us out on our Instagram account at before underscore outdoors. Until next time, we'll see you later.